welcome to today's class as you know the major portions exactly related to meat i have already finished but the unit 4 meat science also contains some aspects about egg so the portions about egg i am going to explain in two different lectures today is the first lecture about egg in which i am going to discuss about the structure composition grading and packing of eggs definition of egg the egg is a biological structure intended by nature for reproduction it protects and provides a complete diet for the developing embryo and serves as the principal source of food for the first few days of the chick's life the egg is also one of the most nutritious and versatile human food now we will see about the structure of egg in the left side you can see the egg the outside is egg cell and then there is a cell membrane two layers in between there is air cell after that inside there is egg white which has got several parts and then there is egg yolk now if you see in the right side the cell is made up of mainly calcium carbonate and few more minerals and inside that there is inner and outer cell membrane in between these two membrane is actually a cell is formed then there is egg white it is the mostly protein and water it has got several components we will see later then there is at the center egg yolk which contains mainly fat protein cholesterol even vitamins and minerals this has got again several parts we will see later and then we can see the chalaja which is a thick kind of protein helps in holding the yolk at the center and at the bottom you can see the air cell that indicates the aging of the egg here we will see little more details structure of the egg as i said earlier outside there is egg cell and next is the cell membrane which is made up of two proteinaceous layer in between these two layer only air cell is formed and this is a freshness indicator as the egg becomes old the size of air cell increases then further inside there is egg white which has got two three different parts we will see next here there is outside thin albumin then thick albumin and then again inside thin albumin and the same albumin or egg white extends as a fiber like structure which holds the egg yolk and called as chalaja and then in the further inside we see the yolk which has got outside a vitelline membrane and at the top there is a spot like called germinal disk which has important role in the reproduction and further the actual yolk which is yellow in color which contains the most of the nutrients and including the fat protein cholesterol etc here we will see further details about the structure of egg first we can see the cell which is a outer protective layer makes about 11% of the total weight of egg and it is mainly made up of calcium carbonate actually it has a role in the respiration and there is pores through which the carbon dioxide or moisture can exit basically it has got three layers the outside the cuticle then there is spongy or calcareous layer and the innermost mammillary layer in case of cell membrane it is a inbuilt defense mechanism for preventing the bacterial entry it has got two layers the outer layer and the inner layer and in between these two layer the actual air cell is formed then albumin or white it is about 58% of the total egg weight it has got four layer the outer thin then outer thick layer then inner thin layer and then inner thick layer that is actually chalaja chalaja is a proteinaceous structure surrounding the yolk and which becomes like thread or fiber and helps in holding the yolk at the center then about the yolk it is about 31% of the total egg it is consist of four structures as i said already outside the vitelline membrane then there will be concentric layers of light and dark shade 
and then in between there will be a passage like which is leading to the center of the yolk and at the top surface there is germinal disc that has got important role for fertilization chemical composition of egg a large egg weighs about 58 gram of which 11% is cell 58% is white and 31% is yolk in commercial breaking the egg white will be around 55 to 58% and the yolk will be about 43 to 45% if we see the composition as i said that is the albumin 58% yolk 31 and cell 11% if we see the water content in whole egg it is 65% in albumin it is 88% and in yolk it is 48% protein content in whole egg it is 11.8 in albumin it is 11% and in yolk 17.5% the fat content it is in whole egg it is 11% whereas in albumin it is very less in yolk it is more that is 32.5% and if we see the ash content in case of whole egg it is 11.7% in albumin it is very less and yolk it is very less now if we see the composition of the cell which makes 11% of the total egg the majority is calcium carbonate that is 84% then calcium phosphate 1% magnesium phosphate 1% the nutritive value of egg in the table right side the details of nutritive value is given i am going to explain some of the important parts like an egg contains about 6 to 7 gram protein one of the highest quality protein in human food egg protein contains all the essential amino acids and that is why the egg protein is used as the reference for other proteins for comparison an egg also contains 5 to 6 g of fat which is readily digestible egg contains less than 0.4 g carbohydrate hence it is having low calories and generally it has got lot of vitamins in high quantity except vitamin c this is in continuous and to the nutritive value of egg egg yolk is high in cholesterol that is sometime is one of the negative aspect of egg consumption then it is a good source of iron and phosphorus other mineral little lower and it has got fat soluble vitamins more in yolk whereas the water soluble vitamins are present both in white and yolk in the table yellow color here you can see the specific nutritive values in case of yolk and white separately and in the right side in the chart you can see the role of egg in human health which is not exactly in the syllabus but it is very important to know the role of egg in human health important proteins in albumin here we will see the different kind of proteins present in egg white they are percentage and characteristics the major one is ovalbumin which is 54% and it is a phosphoglycoprotein the next one is conalbumin 13% it chelates iron copper zinc the next one is ovomucoid 11% it is a trypsin inhibitor then lysozyme 10% actually it is having antibacterial role it causes lysis of the cell wall of bacteria then ovomucin 1.5% it is a sialoprotein then flavoprotein very less and it binds riboflavin then ovo inhibitor it is only 0.1% it inhibits proteases and avidin very minute quantity and it binds biotin functional properties of egg egg has got excellent functional properties because of which it is widely used in food industry and all kind of food products or meat products so just quickly i will tell the functional properties that is number one leavening agent it is due to the egg white and it is useful for all bakery products and for its texture then binding agent again it is due to the egg white mainly egg albumin it it get denatured and binds with other ingredients then the thickening agent it forms gel with milk again it is mainly due to egg white then it prevents grittiness and crystallization in cake etc it is a emulsifier here it is mainly due to egg yolk the two important phospholipids that is lecithin and sepalin has got major role in emulsification 
then it is used as clarifying agent it is an excellent coating agent for cakes roll and cookies and it imparts color particularly because of the use of egg yolk it gives a golden color grading of egg grading is a practice of classifying anything as per certain quality aspects so here grading is a method of sorting the eggs according to their size weight and other quality factors in case of egg grading there is two aspect one is exterior quality another is interior quality in the exterior quality there is weight then shape and structure soundness color and cleanliness then cell texture and specific gravity cell percent and sometime the impact strength and crushing strength in the interior quality there is albumin quality there is yolk quality and there is air seal as i have already said grading is determined by interior and exterior egg quality and in usda grade is designated by letters like aa a and b and aa is the best grade however these three different grades do not have much nutritional difference and the b category grade is mostly used for institutional purposes like hotels restaurants etc as i have already told for grading the external and internal quality parameters are important in external category one is the cleanliness there could be dirt blood or fecal stain and there is soundness that is any kind of damage or cracks etc we have to see and then the cell shape that is the shape of the egg it could be many times abnormal by different aspect so these are the things important for grading now we will see about the internal egg quality in case of internal quality we should see the shape and uniformity of albumin amount of thick albumin shape and height of yolk and presence of any meat spots or blood spots in the right side you can see that three different grade and they are characteristics for air cell and the size of air cell in case of aa a and b then white it should be clear and firm in case of aa in case of a it should be clear and reasonably firm whereas in case of b it will be weak and watery regarding yolk the outline is slightly defined in case of aa whereas in a it is fairly well defined whereas in b it is plainly visible here the interior and exterior measures of egg quality is summarized in this table in interior appearance egg albumin could be clear and firm reasonably firm weak and watery the yolk the distinctness and visibility size and shape and defects we have to see in case of air cell overall size whereas external appearance shape we have to see that is overall shape ridges or rough areas cell soundness whether it is thin spots or leaks and cell cleanliness like there is any cage mark stains or dirty etc now we will discuss little bit more details about the different exterior quality parameters mostly they are of practical connection and we do it in practical classes so firstly shape and structure this is measured through shape index by measuring the width and length and multiplying with 100 normal egg should have 74 then soundness of cell this is about the damage and cracks etc it can be generally three types like checked leaking and smashed then cell color normally the white color is most common however in india brown color is preferred by ordinary consumers and then cell cleanliness it can be of different category like clean slightly stained moderately stained or dirty this is in continuation to the external parameters like cell texture which is done with the help of microscopic structure to be seen in cell thickness the thickness of the cell is measured with the help of micrometer or slide calipers then specific gravity it is measured with the help of brine flotation technique where a series of brine solutions are prepared with a range of specific gravity in a very less interval then cell percent where the cell weight is taken and expressed in terms of the weight of the egg then impact strength it is about measuring the strength of the egg cell by using a special device that is falling ball technique and another one is crushing strength for which there is a special device where we can increase the pressure on the egg until it crushes 
Now you will see the interior quality of egg. The first one is albumin quality. Albumin quality is measured through albumin index where the height of albumin is divided with the average width of albumin and with the help of tripod micrometer the height of albumin is measured. Then it is done in another way like how unit in which the height of the albumin and weight of egg is put into the formula to get a value. Then the yolk quality, it is again measured with the help of yolk index where the height of yolk is divided with the width of yolk and another one is the color of yolk where a rocky color fan is used with 15 different color plastic flaps and the color of the yolk is matched with different color of the flaps. Another important internal quality parameter is air cell which we can measure after breaking the egg. Here the depth of the air cell is very very important. It indicates the freshness of egg and it has a relation with the internal quality of egg. So it can be in three category that is large which exceeds 6 mm in depth then running where a moving two cell membrane air cell will be seen between the two membranes and then ringed where it will be very large and sharply defined with gray or brown edges. Now as per AGMARK that is Indian Agricultural Marketing System there are four grades for eggs that is one is extra large with 60 gram then large 53 to 58 gram and then medium 45 to 52 gram and small that is below 45 gram. Here the details about the USDA grades for individual eggs is explained. In the top line we can see the different category of egg grades and their details characteristics about the cell, air cell, white and yolk and in the bottom row we can see the details characteristics of different grade of eggs in the internal quality after breaking out. So these details are not much required for the UG students but it may be useful for progressive students. Here you can see the details of USDA grading that is grade AA, grade A and grade B and their details characteristics like breakout appearance, how it is spreading, then albumin appearance in different grade, then yolk appearance in different grade, then cell appearance and then usage. Again these details are not important for UG examination. Nowadays there is lot of automation in commercial egg grading in case of large farmers. So there are online process for grading and inspection of eggs. In the right side you can see the moving top uh, trays for direct inspection and in the left side you can see the individual eggs are moving. Now we will see some of the abnormalities very quickly though it is not exactly in the syllabus. That is egg size influenced by strain, age and drug. Sometimes necarbogen can affect the size. Then shape, it is a characteristic of the breed and strain. But sometimes Newcastle disease can cause abnormal shape. Then cell texture, to some extent it is hereditary. But sometimes the defects like pimpling and ringling etc. happen. In case of Ranikhet disease, it can cause rough cells. In case of bronchitis, cause rough cell or damages. In case of estrogen, calcium and vitamin D deficiency, it may cause soft cells and cell color. Sometime it is affected by necarbogen use, the brown egg may become white or sometime oreomycin cause white egg. In continuation to abnormalities in egg, sometime there can be blood spots which is a breed characteristics. Sometime there may be off flavored eggs mainly caused by bacteria, mold or from the feed ingredient or feed additives like fish meal, garlic, rancid fat which is absorbed through the intestine then falls in egg white. Albumin quality sometimes is influenced by breeding then there can be discolored or tinted like grey, yellow, red, green. Sometimes maybe due to feeding of cotton seed meal there can be cloudy, muddy or sticky which indicates rot. Sometimes maybe due to very hot wash. Sometimes there can be thinning of egg white may be due to age, heat and vibration. Here you will see some of the abnormalities in yolks that is sometimes it can be sided that is displaced from the center. Sometimes it may be stuck that is yolk is stuck to the inner cell membrane. May be patchy that is uneven in color or heat spots which will deteriorate fast. Then abnormal shape it may be flattened or irregular. Sometimes yolk may be broken then discolored. 
may be due to cotton seed causing brownish discoloration or vitamin A and xanthophylls deficiency may cause platinum color and mottling caused by nicarbazin or tannic acid gallic acid now we will discuss about packaging of egg earlier we have discussed about the packaging of meat and meat products because in modern day marketing packaging plays a very important role moreover egg is being very fragile it needs proper protection also so we are going to discuss different aspects of packaging of egg for modern marketing functions of packaging despite its relative strength the egg is extremely fragile hence it needs proper support the packaging protects the eggs from possible crushing during handling and transport it protects from microorganisms such as bacteria or molds it protects from loss of moisture and from temperature that cause deterioration however eggs should be properly cleaned and graded before packaging eggs of different grades should be packed separately with broader end up types of packaging basically we are going to discuss in three category that is one is by grain by products that is the normal packaging boxes with certain agricultural by products or husk or straw etc then filler trays that is of more modern which is having proper protection for the eggs and the retail packaging these three aspects we are going to discuss next use of grain by products for packaging packing eggs with rice husks chopped straw in basket or crate which decreases the cell damage this kind of packaging is suitable for short distance transport you can see that there are different kind of packaging containers in which different kind of agricultural by products or husks or paddy straw is packed for protection filler trays there are mainly two types number 1 is molded pulp paper plastic filler flats most commonly used for packaging these filler flats consists of six rows of five eggs each most commonly 30 eggs in one tray are used then in the second category molded polystyrene egg cartons of different size and shape they may have two rows of six eggs or one row of six eggs and most usual for retail packs of egg filler tray bulk packing the filler trays are stacked and placed in boxes for transport the boxes may be made of saw wood or cardboard or plastics so convenient for counting eggs in a box because each tray has got 30 eggs and if we count the trays we can get the total number and cardboard boxes are light in weight over wrapping of eggs so this is a modern type of packaging of eggs where the fillers can be covered with plastic films for final seal the plastic films allows inspection of eggs without handling for over wrapping of eggs polyethylene cellophane and other transparent thin but strong films are used these films should be impervious to gases and moisture over wrapping of eggs in different atmosphere like carbon dioxide vacuum etc also has been tried finally about the retail packing of eggs eggs can also be packed for retail sale with 2 to 12 numbers boxes made of paper board wood pulp or plastic are used for this purpose small paper board cases covered with plastic film are also used whereas egg cases have also been developed from polystyrene it provides cushioning and protection against odors and moisture however small cases are good for retailers to handle and inspect the eggs 
Finally, we have come to the end of today's lecture. I have discussed different aspects of egg like structure of egg, composition, nutritive value, then about the grading of egg, different kind of qualities like external quality and internal quality parameters, USDA grading, different kind of abnormalities seen in egg and finally about the different types of packaging of egg. In some slides a few things has been given extra especially those which are in black color text they are mainly for the progressive students or it may be useful for pg students thank you for listening please refer my notes given already thank you